We don't yet have recovery numbers for the nearly 9,400 positive tests in the state of Alabama because the Department of Health says it's focusing its efforts on contact tracing. As we continue to uh, get back to more of a normal economy, it's more imperative than ever that uh, public health uh, be able to test and do contact tracing on cases. So what is contact tracing and why is it important? The entire process takes three very time-consuming steps. First, close contacts. That's someone an infected person has been around a lot, like family members, co-workers, and doctors. Second, contact listing. This is anyone in contact with an infected person briefly in a public space, like a nail salon or an airport. Third, contact follow-up. This allows for regular checkups with all contacts to monitor them for symptoms of infection. So with more than 9,000 cases in the state, that's a lot of contacts to trace. We uh, are working on contact tracing through a number of different options. We are, are working to utilize school nurses who aren't, who aren't working right now. Uh, who have agreed to come on board and help us with contact tracing. Dr. Harris also says his team has talked to community health centers about adding additional staff to start contact tracing. 